for agriculture. Paul, the minister. Yes. Ah, yes. Well, uh, thank you very much, Madam Speaker. And as the member for Hunter knows, the member Hunter knows, it is vitally important that we keep our edge in the new markets of the world and the markets we're developing because we have a clean, green image. We know that if uh, foot and mouth was to come in, it would cost our nation in excess of $50 billion over the next 10 years. We know that if rabies was to come in, that it would change the, the lifestyle of not only our indigenous communities in the north, but all the way down into, an, into an urban environment as well. We know, we know that screw fly is, is, is extremely important in the whole of the animal industry. We know that as papaya fruit fly has come in, that each year we have to push this disease back out of the Torres Strait. And uh, we also know that we have to work as seamlessly as we possibly can between agencies. And I can tell you right now, we are already doing that. Myself and Minister Dutton on health, in our actions to make sure that we keep Ebola out of this nation, is working seamlessly as we speak. And I'd like to commend the Minister for Health for the great work that he does in, ke in keeping this nation free of the diseases such as Ebola. And I know that the work, I know that the work that um, Minister Morrison does, Minister Morrison does, has been incredibly effective in ridding our nation of the scourge of people just making their own way in this nation, and all the ones left. who drowned on the water by reason of the lack of attention to this portfolio by those opposite. But I know that uh, our nation will have, as one of the premier issues, one of the premier items of our agricultural soft commodities, strong biosecurity. Yeah.